I know what's out there in those streets. I've been hurt and harmed more than I care to talk about. Tamika Spellman says there are few options for black and brown transgender women, many who are shut out by family and forced to make a living selling sex. At 54, she's lived through it all. For someone to live to be my age that has been transgender is a, nothing less than a miracle. The average age of transgender women, black transgender women, terminates at 27. That's why Spellman and the organization No Justice, No Pride works to get people off the street and into safe homes like this row house in Brightwood. Nowhere else can you find safe homes like this in this country, specifically for black and brown, transgender women, gender non-binary people, femmes, queens, queer people. But she says a pending sale by the landlord could be putting their lives on the line. I don't feel like this is a fair process. I made numerous attempts to reach the landlord by phone and email. I even visited this home in Northern Virginia, listed as her address. Do you know how to get a hold of her? Only for a newly moved in tenant to answer the door instead. It's important to note the landlord is within her right to sell the home. A 2018 change to DC's renters protection law, known as TOPA, means single family homes can be put up for sale without the knowledge of tenants. The least I can do is like figure out some housing. Now the nonprofit has launched a campaign to raise a down payment to buy the house. More than $125,000 has already been donated in just two days. Ward 4 Councilmember Janice Lewis George weighed in on Twitter posting quote, this is a disturbing effort to displace black trans folks in our community. I'm still waiting to hear back from the landlord or her attorney. In the meantime, Councilmember Lewis George tells me DC's eviction moratorium should protect the tenants. It lasts until the summer and could be extended, she says. The council member goes on to say that because of this case, she's considering amendments to the current TOPA laws and other measures that would, quote, prevent the displacement of working people in the district. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.